All right, you guys, we are not done with the Style Maker fabric swatches just yet because today I have the Spring Style Trends video. Now, we started doing this last spring. You guys really, really loved it. We brought it back in the fall and it's here again. So, essentially, what I've done is I have gone through and looked at all the runway shows and all the street style and all your favorite fashion bloggers and have determined five different styles that I think will be really, really on trend this coming spring and summer. Now, I want to specifically reiterate that these are trends. These are not necessarily your classic looks that are gonna last forever and ever, but they are something that you can make and have a lot of fun wearing this year, maybe two or three more years, depending on how much of a classic the trend ends up being, but some of them are a little bit out there. And I encourage you to rethink your personal style in a way where you might be able to incorporate one or more of the ideas from this video. So I have patterns and fabric from Stylemaker Fabric Spring Collection paired up together. For the patterns, I have an indie option and a big four option where both are available. I think there was one or two patterns where I really struggled finding a big four option. So grab a pen and a piece of paper again, because you're going to want to write down the patterns if they jump out at you. And also I'll call out the item numbers of the fabrics. These are fabrics that I have specifically chosen for these patterns and the colors of the fabrics I've also specifically chosen to go with each other. So it's more of like a coordinated effort here. So if you wanna make sure you get exactly what I'm about to recommend, you're gonna to want to write them down. But there are five looks, so let's get started. Okay, so the first trend that I want to call your attention to is probably not that big of a surprise to you guys, but it is the big sleeve. Sleeves are continuing. This has probably been, what, three years running where sleeves are a super big trend. This season, it seems to be the bigger, the better. You can't really go wrong with like a super, super puffy sleeve. And that's the other thing. The, the sleeve trend is not just like an exaggerated flounce or anything like that. It really is all about the puff. And you can also double up your trends if you make a top that also features shirring. It doesn't matter if it is a big puffy sleeve made from a floral or a solid or whatever else, but big, 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 big is what we are going for. So the fabric that I pulled for this is this really lovely uh, tonal spring floral cotton poplin. So cotton poplin is a little bit lighter weight than a cotton shirting would be. And that's why I chose it for this particular trend. With the big puffy sleeve, you do want a fabric that is gonna hold that structure and the puff of the sleeve really well, but you also need to balance that out with a little bit um, of a lighter weight so that you can have the skirt, you can do the shirring, um, and also just so the puff of your sleeve doesn't look like a clown costume or like, you know, a costume in general. Um, you want it to kind of look intentional. So that's why I chose a cotton poplin. This particular one comes in two different colorways. You have this really pretty like turquoise and light blue colorway and then also one that is red and orange which is also really beautiful for what it's worth. It's kind of giving me a little bit of fall vibes. So if you wanted to do one for spring and one for fall you could definitely definitely do that. All right, the patterns that I chose, and again, for each one, I've got a big four pattern and an indie pattern. So the big four pattern is the McCall's 7898. But as you can see, it's got this really nice square neckline, which is really nice because it, you know, uh, gives a lot of attention, a lot of, you know, visible skin through the decolletelle, but then, you know, the sleeve draws your attention to you. So it's like a good balance there. The indie pattern that I chose is the Victory Patterns Sophia, and this does feature shirring. So this is a guaranteed way for you to get kind of like two trends in one. I think that this fabric in particular will look 
beautiful shirt because you have to imagine it all like crinkled up, you know, like all these big flowers all of a sudden become really, really small. I think when you use a floral that has already a small scale print and then you go to sure it, it kind of just looks like a blend of colors. You can't really identify them as flowers at all, but I think this one, you would be able to tell that they are still floral, that's still a floral, um, and it wouldn't just kind of all become one melting pot of color. So that is what I have for the puffy sleeve. All right, so our next trend is the oversized button down shirt. And I'm not talking, you know, a little bit of a relaxed shirt. I'm talking about really, really, really oversized shirts. <laughs> um, it's almost like you went and just grabbed your dad's, you know, shirt. Um, I think the way that designers are making this work for people is that there are certain parts that are oversized and certain parts that are not. For me, I think that it's important to have the collar and neckline relatively close to your own size. That makes it look a little bit intentional starting from the neckline and then everything falling away from that. The neckline will always be the anchor. Similar concept to the cuff. I do feel like if the cuff is a little bit more fitted, then that will make it look a little more intentional. Not like you just borrowed your dad's shirt, but that you made one for you that happens to have all this volume to it. There are also several ways for you to style these oversized shirts. Um, you can obviously wear it just like a shirt, scrunch up the sleeves, you know, throw it over a pair of leggings or jeans and you're good to go. You can wear it open like a cardigan. You can wear it as a dress and belt it. Um, there are a lot of really unique ways for you to style these tops as well. The way that I am going to style it again is a double trend and that is with the sweater vest. Okay, so I have four fabrics. This is the shirting fabric that I called out or that I chose. This is the Vintage Wash Chambray Shirting in Blue. It comes in five total colors, including coral, aqua, lavender, and gray. They're all sort of pastel-y, which is another trend in and of itself. Pastels for spring, it's very obvious. But um, all of the, the chambray, the, the vintage wash of them, I say coral, but it's not like a bright orange pink. It's, it's more muted. And that to me is like the perfect setting for a very, very large garment. You know, you definitely don't want to wear a print with this. I think that that would just be very, very overwhelming. Um, so a nice, subtle shirting is the way to go. Uh, I have styled mine with just some denim shorts. You know, you guys can pick your favorite pair of denim shorts or wear one that you get from ready to wear. Um, this one though, this denim here, I think looks really good with my little colorway here. And this is the designer midweight denim in blue. It's a 12 ounce denim, perfect for some shorts. I would go like a tailored slash messy. So whereas the shirt is very tailored, the vest is very tailored, do your shorts as cutoffs. Um, you know, do the frayed edges. Heidi, handmade, Heidi, Heidi handmade. She just did a pair of denim shorts, frayed them, and they look really cute. So you can go check out her blog post to learn more about that. She used another uh, style maker denim. That one is a little bit lighter weight. So, or I'm sorry, lighter in color. So that's what you want, you know, your overall vibe to go with a super lightweight color. Why do I keep saying weight? Super light colored denim. You can use the one that Heidi featured in her post. And then for the vest, I chose the Speckle Stripe Texture uh, Double Knit in Navy. This is like the perfect little sweater vest or any kind of sweater, honestly. Um, it's got great recovery, not super, super stretchy. So it is going to be the item of clothing that is going to kind of pull the shirt in around your body, giving your body some definition, even though the shirt is so voluminous. So 
For the vest pattern, I actually could not find a big four option. Not super surprising. Um, maybe they had them like back in the 80s or 90s when this was like a super big trend, but uh, Made for Mermaids did a Clueless collection based off the movie Clueless. And if you can remember that outfit, you know that Cher, or I'm sorry, Amber wears her little cropped um, sweater vest and it's just such an iconic look. So I would actually recommend doing the cropped version. We're thinking about proportions here. We're thinking about like a fit and flared situation, right? The vest is going to be the fitted portion and the shirt is going to be the flared portion. So if you did a fit and flare dress or a fit and flare top of any other kind, it would actually fit to the waist and then flare out beyond that. And that is what this little cropped vest, that's the illusion of the silhouette that it's going to give you. For the oversized shirt, I have the Style Arc Lauren Boyfriend shirt. This is an oversized shirt. I would encourage you push the boundaries and maybe size up and give yourself that real, real big, 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 big shirt. Like it's it these this trend is for the very big oversized shirt. It's not like you can't really tell if it's oversized or just um, more relaxed, like it's, it's egregiously and obnoxiously <laughs> oversized. So I would encourage you maybe to size up just to accomplish that. If it falls off the shoulder, even better. The big four version is McCall's 1744. Now I would make some changes to this. I don't, not that this wouldn't work. This would definitely absolutely work, especially as like a dress version. They have the, this view is only one of them. They have another view that is a little bit longer. You could absolutely make the dress version. This would look beautiful, open, kind of like that little cardigan or layering piece um, that I mentioned. But if you wanted to do this just as like my outfit here with the, with the oversized shirt, the vest and the shorts, I would, um, even out this hem, it, 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 especially in the front. The back, I don't mind the scoop so much, but in the front, I would try and even it out somehow. Well, not somehow, but you just, you know, flatten out that hem and then you know, just make sure that proportions are, are good to go there. Um, it's not that the high low thing is bad. It's just, it's just a, a look in and of itself. Um, and so, I don't know, in, in my mind, the way I envision it is a little bit more like this, where it's a little bit flattened out. I'm so excited about this one. The, the oversized shirt thing really is very, very cool. All right, the third trend for spring is the crop top. Now, before you all are rolling your eyes and immediately disregarding this trend as something that you could ever wear because of your age or your body type or whatever it is, hear me out, okay? Anytime you are reaching for a fitted tee or tank that you are gonna tuck into your pants or shorts, consider a crop top instead. Crop tops do not have to be like up at your bust line. They can, they also don't have to show any skin at all. And then regarding the bottoms, your shorts, which is what I'm recommending for spring, need to be high-waisted. That's how you're able to pull this off. The short should sit at your natural waist. If not, go a little bit above that with like a paper bag waist or something like that. So your top is coming down to your natural waist. The shorts are up on top of your natural waist and those two things are coming together. If you saw my StyleMaker Fabric Spring Style Tour, I am technically wearing a crop top with high-waisted shorts. They happen to overlap by, I don't know, like a couple of inches but it's totally still the trend. So just because I say crop top doesn't necessarily mean, you know, what all the teenagers are wearing. So the thing that is consistent about the tops are that they are close fitting. So they are hugging the body. And then the consistent thing about the shorts is that they are very loose and very relaxed. The 90s trend, kind of the same thing with that amber vest, the 90s, are really, really prevalent, prevalent this year. Um, you're gonna be seeing a lot of 90s redone in today's silhouettes and I am totally loving it. So think of the long line Bermuda short, something along those lines. Think about shorts with pleats in them. You know, we're going back to like the country club days 
the heyday of the 90s and giving that kind of preppy 90s look through today's fashion. Okay, so fabric wise, I chose the micro rib rayon sweater knit in peach or in the color, was it sage? Yeah, peach or sage. These are the only two colors that this comes in. This sweater knit is so soft. The rayon is so luxurious, but the um, stretch on it is really, really good. And recovery is exceptional as well. So you're gonna be able to get a really fitted tank top um, out of this sweater knit. And it says sweater knit, but it is a very thin, 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 thin sweater knit. So I don't think that you're gonna be like sweating it out um, in your tank top. For the shorts, I chose the soft wash linen. This is the color persimmon, which I actually really love for spring. So the idea would be if you are a warm color person, you would wear them this way, how stunning, right? Or if you're a cool person, cool tones, you would wear them this way. Now, obviously this does lend itself to be a little bit more like fall tones, but I think in the silhouette we've got going with the patterns, it will still work. This color persimmon to me is basically a neutral and you can wear it with any other color in your wardrobe but if persimmon's not for you it does come in 16 additional colorways one of which happens to be white or even this natural color and i feel like both of those are very springy and would look good with this peach and sage of the rib knit so choose your the color of your soft wash linen uh, accordingly, however you you know want your shorts to look, there are plenty of colors for you guys to choose from. And like I said, in addition to persimmon, I feel like the peach and sage look really good with the white and with the natural, and that will give us kind of a spring vibe as well. Okay, pattern wise, here are our tank tops. This is the Ali Olsen Kila tank. Um, it's got a really nice racer back, obviously super fitted. I think it's designed for rib knits. And then I've also got the indie pattern. Oh, I'm sorry, the reason I have two indie patterns for this is because Big Four doesn't really have like a knit tank, not that I could see anyways. So I gave you two options for indie. This one happens to be completely free. This is the Paradise Patterns Bloma tank. You get it by signing up for her um, newsletter, totally free. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I actually like this design better, even if it weren't free. Um, the way that she has the bands, I think, is a really cute look. It's it's a little bit more athletic, which calls me back to the 90s, the country clubs, you know, all of that kind of stuff. For your shorts, um, I have two here, but honestly, there are a ton of really great options for um, the looser fitting kind of casual linen short vibe that we're going for here. So feel free to use the Megan Nielsen Flint short. There is another version of this that ties on the side. Also really cute, drawing more attention to that waistline where your crop top ends and your shorts have that little tie detail. It's like a whole lot of stuff happening, drawing your eye to the, um, to your, the smallest part of your body for some of us. Um, and then for the uh, Big Four pattern, I chose Vogue 9008. I mean, if this isn't 90s, <laughs> I don't really know what is. It may be early 2000s, but it's got the pleats. It's got the yoke in the back, the belt loops, you know, all of those things. Plus this like pleated front would look amazing, amazing in this linen with your little tank top here. So, so that is my tank and relaxed 90s short. All right, the next one is super cool too. This one is the short suit. So again, we're going back to the 80s, we're going back to the 90s with the short suit, but I feel like these short suits are a little bit more tailored, a lot less shoulder pad, um, and a little bit longer leg line, um, meaning the shorts are just a little bit shorter and a little bit closer to the body than maybe they were in the 80s. Um, you have two directions you can go with this and we'll talk about um, the one that I chose for this video but first and then we'll talk about your other options. But basically you have like a close fitting kind of tailored version or you have like the super relaxed version thinking about like Don Johnson, Miami Vice, you know, that kind of vibe there. But regardless, the trend is the 
the set, right? So the jacket and the shorts are made out of a matching fabric. Um, your, your jacket looks like a blazer, whether it's fitted or relaxed. It has, you know, the collar and the lapel and sometimes it's notched and, you know, the two buttons. And um, I would say probably more of a narrow sleeve for today's trends. And then your short that goes with your suit is a little bit longer than your blazer, high-waisted, a little bit of a flare to the short, um, giving off that really cool, like, I care, but I don't really care kind of vibe. Um, and then they're pairing it not with button-down shirts, not with silky tops, but with t-shirts. So which is why I have a knit here that we will talk about in a second. Let's talk first about the linen fabric. So this is their designer linen blend gabardine suiting. It is a blend of linen and rayon. And when I came across this in the swatch video, I instantly fell in love with it. It is a wonderful suiting for spring and summer. I mean, it feels great. It feels expensive. It feels rich. And even though navy isn't my top choice for colors in spring, it does come in three other colors, including some neutrals. So we've got a, a tan color, which is almost like a sand. We've got wheat, which is almost like a caramel kind of. And then we've got taupe, which is like a darker gray brown. So you can achieve that summer suit vibe with a lighter color of the gabardine. So keep that in mind when you're shopping um, to pick one of them that maybe is in one of the lighter tones. Uh, the little knit that I chose is their cotton modal jersey knit. Um, as you can imagine, it is a cotton modal spandex. It comes at a 62 inch width, so you might not have to buy as much of this as your cotton jerseys. So that will offset the cost of it a little bit because it is a pretty pricier knit, but it is a lovely knit. And it comes in 18 colors, including this one called blush. The blush one, I feel like, again, blush is a neutral and blush would look good with all of the colors in this. But there are also some really, really beautiful colors mixed in here as well that are very, very springy. You know, we've got the lilac that they're calling orchid. We've got the sky blue, um, even the sage, you know, we've got all, we, there's a ton of colors to choose from. So if you wanted to do something a little bit brighter and springier, you could definitely do that. Okay, let's talk about pattern options. I kind of have a lot for this one because like I said, I just wanted to make sure that depending on the look, whether you wanna go tailored or relaxed, I had something for you. I have printed out the ones for the tailored version, but we'll go over the ones for the relaxed version after this. So you can buy a suit set. You can buy Simplicity 9227. It'll give you a jacket and pants, which you would shorten into shorts, all in one. The fact that this has an elastic waistband actually is not a bad thing. I know I give elastic waistbands such a hard time sometimes, but uh, the the vibe of the suit, even though the jacket is a little bit closer fitting and a little bit more tailored, having an elastic waistband almost gives you that opposites attract thing. You know what I mean? It's like professional, but then you've got an elastic waist. And so you're like, well, she can't be, she can't take herself that seriously. You know what I mean? Plus if you're able to um, increase the casing or reduce the width of the elastic and do like a little mini paper bag, that would be even, that would be so cute as well. For the jacket, I would, I would pay attention to the length of the jacket and the length of the short. You definitely want the jacket, you want the jacket to be shorter than the shorts, but not by much. You know what I'm saying? Like if you look back at the inspiration pictures, it's a long line jacket that just happened and the shorts happen to be a little bit longer than the jacket is. You don't want a jacket that hits at your high hip. You definitely want it lower um, and just make sure that the rise, or I'm sorry, the inseam of your shorts hits a little bit lower than wherever this hits. Okay, but if you wanted to break it up and buy all separate things, here are my big four options. We've, I'm gonna move this out of the way. We've got the Vogue 9099 jacket, your classic, classic blazer. I think there are a couple different options on this one for the pocketing, um, but classic blazer with the little um, pocket detail, breast pocket, 
you've got your notch lapel, you've got the two-piece sleeve. I mean, this is a stunningly designed uh, blazer. Then again, kind of going opposites attract, I put it with New Look 6674. Now, I would not necessarily do everything that <laughs> New Look 6674 has to offer. It's got a yoke, it's got patch pockets in the front and the back and a paper bag waistband. I would try and clean it up a little bit and, oh, did I mention the button front? I would kind of clean it up a little bit, do the pockets so that they are not patch pockets, do them so that they're on the inside, which is totally fine. You can do the paper bag waist, but maybe try and eliminate the drawstring. Um, the yoke pretty much has to stay um, and, you know, just kind of simplify this a little bit so it's not so frilly. But out of this um, gabardine suiting, I think that it is going to hold up really well and be really, 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 really stunning. So that's your big four option. And then for the indie option, I chose the Closet Core Jessica jacket, blazer. I'm not sure how she refers to it. Um, very similar design to the Vogue one. If we want to, if we want to look at that, um, we've got the notch lapel, we've got the breast pocket, we've got the pocket flaps, the two piece sleeve, you know, all the seaming. It, they're very, very, very similar. Um, so whether you're indie or big four, this is going to give you your classic jacket. For the shorts, I chose the Closet Core Pietra shorts. Again, you're going to get kind of like a tailored, clean line look with these. Definitely more so than with the new look. Um, but So they're going to look tailored, but they're still going to be relaxed and casual. Because if you look at the fit of these and the ease that is in these shorts, it's definitely a relaxed vibe. I would consider lengthening the um, rise, I'm sorry, the inseam a little bit. And then this elastic waist is really going to give you that kind of like professional, but not kind of situation. Okay, for your relaxed, um, kind of casual summer suit, I am suggesting the Friday Pattern Company Heather Blazer, oversized, relaxed, loose fitting, all that kind of great stuff and the goji shorts from Deer and Doe. The goji shorts are an elastic waist. I think they may even have a pep, uh, paper bag waist, loose fitting, um, kind of baggier type of short. I think that would be really great because this does have a little bit of rayon in it and this hasn't even been washed yet. So I'm sure it'll wash up a little bit drapier too. You could, it's, it's such a great blend because you can do tailored or relaxed out of the same fabric and will achieve wonderful results. I mean, this is going to, the goji shorts are going to be like pull away from the body a little bit, but not in a way that's going to look like clown shorts or anything like that. Super, super cute idea. Obviously an involved project because these blazers are pretty intense, but I think that you will have something that you can separate, wear together, classic pieces that you will be able to wear for years and years, regardless of the trend. All right, our very last spring 2021 uh, trend is sheer. Sheer is happening. Whether that is in the form of a sheer fabric like this one is, um, whether that is in the form of mesh or netting or tool or anything like that, sheer, 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 sheer. So sheer fabrics obviously have a lot of drape to them. Um, mostly because the, to have like the sheer effect, they're either very, very loosely woven like a netting would be, um, or they're made out of really lightweight fabrics. Um, so when looking at the inspiration for this, I was coming across a very romantic type of look. Another big trend, which has been a trend for a while, is tears and then also ruffles. So you can like double, triple up on your trends by finding a pattern that has tears and or ruffles. Um, you really cannot go like too many ruffles or too many tears because the sheer fabric is so lightweight, it's gonna fit closer to the body. You can just go to town adding all the things and it's not gonna really add a ton of volume to your silhouette. Um, so these sheer dresses tend to have longer sleeves. 
um, and a kind of close fitting waist, but I have also seen some really, really adorable options that are not fitted at all. Um, almost like a house coat situation, lightweight, um, flowy, uh, but not like hardly any waist uh, definition at all. The thing with the sheer right now is that people are highlighting the sheerness. So it's not like make a sheer dress and underline the whole thing. That, that would defeat the purpose. What they're doing is they're, they're selling sheer dresses <laughs> and then it's up up to the wearer how they want to cover up all their bits underneath you can obviously make a slip if you make the dress longer and the slip shorter getting as much sheer of the fabric showing as possible th that's really the goal if you're comfortable enough to wear like a bralette and high-waisted panties or short shorts go for it um the more sheer of the fabric that is showing the better Okay, so you are going to make this, these dress, one of these dresses out of this fabric, but you're also going to have to make something to wear underneath them. What you wear underneath them is really up to you. Okay, so the fabric is the spring floral rayon voile. So rayon voile is the background and then we've got like little clip dots all over here giving it a really nice texture, but it's also got these flowers printed on it. Um, the flower colors are kind of I mean, if I list them out, you would say, well, those are fall colors, but because it's sheer, because it's clip dot, which is inherently spring, um, it just gives off a more springy vibe. Okay, pattern wise, I went for the Friday Pattern Company Wilder. Now, you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with the Wilder. There are some version of it, some versions of it out there where I am just like, that is a pass. And then there are other versions where I'm like, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> um, and in my inspiration, looking through uh, all the photos to get inspiration for this uh, trend, there were a lot of shears that came up to the neck, maybe even had a tie, had the tears, had the loose flowy sleeve, because the more of your skin that the sheer is covering, the better. And I know that sounds counterintuitive because you're like, oh, well, it's sheer, but it's still covering up my body. But the whole concept is I'm covered, but I'm not. I'm modest, but I'm not. Um, so it's that kind of play and that kind of balance that I just, I just love so, so, so much. The big four option is McCall 7898. This is definitely calling on tears plus ruffles. You've got that all in the skirt. You've got ruffle on the sleeve. Um, you've got gathers under the bust and you've got this little cold shoulder thing. So both of these really, really good options. And like I said, how you cover up underneath is totally up to you. All right, there you have it. Those are my spring trends featuring the Stylemaker Fabrics uh, from Stylemaker Fabrics Fabrics from the spring collection. Uh, Stylemaker is still doing their $5 flat rate, uh, flat rate shipping for the United, for US customers. That ends Monday, tomorrow at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. So if you wanted to get any of these and get in on that discounted shipping, go ahead and place your order tonight or tomorrow. International shoppers, you do not get the flat rate shipping, but there is a big discount for international shipping as well. So head on over to the link in my description box. It will take you to Stylemaker Fabrics. Type in the item numbers and you will be well on your way. If you have any questions about anything that I went over today, if you saw a fabric you love, but maybe didn't love the pattern and want some other ideas, let me know that too. And I'd be happy to steer you in a better direction. But that is gonna do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.